Well, here's some low-hanging fruit. All done but the finishing. Since we're using cliches, let me double up. Yeah, I did the drywall down there in Tishomingo. All right, so underneath these windows, I use hardy plank. I uh, don't usually put a uh, plug, just in case I said leakage. But uh, I need to put an outlet there. So I'm going to uh, drill this out, put conduit through, and uh, uh, put a box right there. So, and then I'll feed it down through there. So let's, let's do that. Let's do that thing. Lots of little stuffs. Get in the drywall down to Tishomingo. Now, they, this is my favorite thing, and I bought several of them. I keep losing them. I don't know how I lose them. These little husky mats that you could sit on and work. I'm getting too old to just kneel on the ground. Well, that's half inch, half inch conduit. I like to drill a little extra. That way I have some wiggle room. 13 sixteenths maybe. Yeah, that gives me a little room. So using a laser calibrated by NASA, I line the very center point of that to that, and then I drill. Yes! That looks like about right. is this cedar really has an edge to it and uh, you gotta back it out every now and then to keep going. my NASA level again. Get exactly where it's supposed to be over there. Exactly. I can hear all the real electricians in the world just just crying out in despair that I didn't put a level on that. I don't disagree with them. Cry you electricians, cry. I will get this conduit through with brute force. If it's crooked, maybe. I definitely need to sharpen these drill bits. I've only had them for 10 years. Surprising I'm not starting a fire. All right, let's go. There you have it. Perfectly level holes. I'm feeling it in my bones. 
You thought me guessing at those, uh, those holes was bad. I'm just gonna guess at where to cut this conduit. Pure raw guess. I don't care. Cry, weep, and howl, ye certified electricians. Why, why would he do that? I'm gonna eyeball where I think it looks good. Right there, I think that looks good, right there. Right there, looks good to me. I'll be happy to plug into that. Any time, any place, anywhere. I might even look for a four gang box for that. I've got a two gang box right there. Let me go real quick, go look for a four gang box. ream out the factory in too then I got a little stone that I like to go in there and drill it out all right let me look for a four gang box looky there found a four gang box I'm happy let's see if we can get this through I don't know I am doubting my abilities I am doubting my abilities Maybe, maybe, internet, maybe. I see, I'm gonna have to pound on it a little bit. Put a little bend in it, internet, a little bend. There we go, that felt right. Another little bend. Let's put another little bend in it. We'll rotate it around. Looky there, internet. Looky there. Woo! I knew you guys didn't have no faith in me, and there it is. Proof's in the pudding. Proof is in the pudding. Whatever that means, I have no idea what that means. Woo wee, that ain't half bad. Let's look down there. How we doing, internet? Y'all keep your eye on that. I want this piece of conduit to go in that bottom one right there. Right there. All right. Let's call that timeout and put in an end, end on it right now. Well, none of y'all believed in me. For shame. For shame, for shame, for shame. I had faith in me. Steve, what was the methodology you used in which to put those? Well, I just pretty much guessed. Brilliant. Man, I... You know, it might line right up. I've got both the, uh... You know, the... Ones where I can index it a little bit if I messed up. And then I... Oh, that's Romex one. I've got a... Wait a second, I'll have to find one straight on. That's for Romex. Hold on. And action. And look. See, I got a straight on one. Hmm. Maybe. 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 All right. Y'all keep an eye on that while I drive it forward with a rubber mallet. Let me know when I'm there. Don't mess up. Am I there? Am I there? some engineering right there with my eyeball with my eyeball that isn't off at all people are like oh it was a 16th off no it weren't 
was spot on. Spot on. Not half bad for an eyeball. Maybe I'll get this window done today. Should do the outside of it too. It's supposed to rain tonight. If I get time, maybe I'll get some flex seal on all of these. I see a little leaking around the main big one. Not quite sure where the leak's coming from. Y'all able to see what I'm doing there? I can't see what I'm doing. Now that I'm breathing straight into the camera, all worked out. And I uh, put in the electric line, so I'll give all of these one more little oops in case I, well, they're not tight enough. But I like to tighten them right now, right here, right now. Right here, right now. And I like to twist them so the Screw's not into the drywall, so I'll, I'll rotate that a little bit. That one. All right. Feeling good. Got that. Run under the window. And let me put a little box right there now. Continuing with my NASA certified height adjustment. See that? All I use is a hammer. <laughs> figure out how high I want these. <clears throat> there we go. Hmm. I was gonna use a, I was gonna use a uh, half inch offset EMT box, box offset, but I don't need to do that. I'm gonna knock that one right out of the box. And see, there's two rings there. You gotta make sure you get the right ring, the little inner ring for me. There we go. And we'll just put it in, and then I run some screws right in there and go outside and caulk it. That's it. That's my project. Let's finish that up. Now I have not tried a self-tapper in there without a pilot hole, but let's give that a whirl on this one and see if that'll work. See, I'm using long ones, so I don't want it on an angle. I'm using long ones so that uh, as it's corrugated, you can find it. So these are inch and a half, so no matter which way, if it's on the any or it's on the outy of the corrugation, I'll find a spot but I've never not drilled a pilot hole let's see if that works we'll learn that together that would save me a little time if this works I don't know but well enough I don't know is that too big of a That still feels wrong right there. Let's try that one. No. Now I gotta patch a hole. That did work. Let's try this one. And just where I put it is just an awful spot. Boys and girls, just an awful spot. An awful spot. Way. <laughs> well, that would have worked, but uh, it's all on the angle, so it's pulling my box all janky. So I'm going to have to drill a hole here anyway. <laughs> I think I can use a self-tapper through two things. Let's try it. We'll all learn that together. Let's let's see. 
versus Conduit Power Box, take two. Well, I am being stubborn here. Stubborn, stubborn. Would have been easier to get a drill bit at this point. For the sake of curiosity. Woo-wee, that did work. Well, I'll be a horn swoggled. Well, that answers that question. Now everybody watching knows they can self-tap right through a conduit box and the core 10 steel. That is something else. All right, now that I've got that all done. Oh no, a 12 minute video. They take forever to upload. Now that I got that all done, let me go ahead and finish that. I'll vacuum first. Let me do some high calibration drill bit sharpening. <laughs> Everybody needs a file, blacksmith's file knife. Everybody. Woo wee! That's got an edge on it now. Oop! I got out of the camera. See that? Blacksmith. There you go, high end. There you go. Let me chase it with some uh, furring strips and then uh, go ahead and put in the uh, insulation and that hardy plank and we'll get that little spot done. So and then I might go outside and work if there's enough light, but uh, it's burning. I'm burning through the day pretty fast. <laughs> 